Okay, yeah, basically, so we, we're in an unfortunate situation where another well has gone offline. So this is the fifth well in the area. It's our Ke'ahu Olu well, which we just got back online at the end of January. Um, so it's only been in operation for less than five months. But the uh, assessment evaluation done earlier part of the day indicates that the problem is downhole and likely with the pump unit itself. So this, unfortunately, we have a spare pump and motor, and that has been mobilized to the site. A contractor is also mobilized at the site and will probably begin uh, extracting the pump and motor uh, first thing tomorrow morning. Um, basically, what we're asking our customers is... Uh, to use water for essential needs only for drinking, cooking, hygiene, which is bathing and uh, flushing of toilets. Um, cease all irrigation, uh, washing of cars, boats, and the like. Um, you know, even for the commercial accounts, uh, restaurants serve water only upon request. Um, hotels, same thing. Uh, if you could encourage guests to reuse towels, every every little bit helps. On the residential side, it's, uh, irrigation is really the big. Um, we would probably see the best impact by re, uh, people eliminating their irrigation use for the time being. We're looking at about a week, week and a half before we get that spare pump and motor installed and operational. Um, so that's the current time frame that we're looking at. So what we call our North Kona area and where we're asking for this uh, emergency restriction is, you know, if you, I'll give you four corners. How's that? So on the Makai side, we're talking Keoho to Keahole. And on the Mauka side, Honalo to Makale. And Honalo is kind of that area where the Mauka Road intersects with Kuakini Highway. So that's kind of like the four corners of our water system. That's why we've been uh, trying to express to some of those that question the time frame. It's really the manufacturing uh, process of these pumps and motors that, that do take up quite a bit of time. Um, if we do have the spares on hand, uh, basically uh, it cuts out all that manufacturing time. So that's one of our solutions moving forward is to have more key uh, spares available to us. Um, let's see what else. In this case, uh, you know, we're in hurricane season. So if you take a look at your hurricane preparedness procedures uh, as it relates to water, uh, you could use that in this instant. You know, have uh, a gallon per water per day available. Uh, gallon of water per day per person available. Um, and that's, again, for drinking, cooking, hygiene. And then if you're able to store water in your bathtubs, uh, spare rubbish containers, five-gallon jugs uh, for toilet flushing use, um, people can, can find these tips on the Hurricane Preparedness Guide. But they could utilize those tips as well in this situation should we get into the a situation where there will be, um, you know, if people don't uh, cut back their water use, we could be faced with Power, I mean, uh, water outages uh, in certain areas, yeah. Uh, so right now, yeah, it looks like our tanks are maintaining their levels, but it's really going to be tested when we go through the evening peak period and then tomorrow morning's peak period, yeah. This is uh, consistent with the uh, a longer civil defense message that will probably be released over the radio. But um, basically, as it says in that notice, is um, we'll have... A water tanker truck uh, on Hinalani Street between Anini and Manumele. So that will be on the Makai bound lane direction. And we are expecting that tanker to be in place, uh, should be in place by tomorrow morning. We already have a spigot set up on Ane Keho Kalole between Kale Kehe Parkway and the high school. So as always, we, you know, we urge caution. Um, these are well-traveled areas. Um, so as much as possible, you know, exercise caution when utilizing these uh, stations, yeah. Man, I tell you, this is something else. Um, you know, but, you know, 
we we prepared contingency plans actually for a you know in the event a larger capacity well um, goes offline. Um, so you know we're not in the worst case scenario situation. Knock on wood, um, and we're hopeful that if people cut back enough, the you know we our guys have done a terrific job of um, uh, I guess moving water around in the system, reconfiguring the system, and trying to get some of the uh, Kahalu water further north and further Mauka. Um, so as of later, uh, earlier this afternoon, the tank levels were still maintaining. But again, we need to see how it handles after this evening and tomorrow morning's peak use.